So the combine is pretty much done now, but we need to put some chevrons on the back of the car. It's, we don't physically need an escort, but obviously it makes it a lot safer and easier for us to move around. So we're gonna try and make the car as, as near to the spec as we can that we need. The plan originally was just to double the tape up into two rows, just go all over the car. But because it won't come off, that's not very easy. I'm having to put it onto this. That'll stick in there and then I have to put some it maybe there and then cover it all up, which is going to be a right pain to be honest. Because the stuff is so sticky and when you peel it off it's awful, but we've put some silage tape across the back, or tried to, as you can see, uh, it wasn't easy. And we're just going to try and chevron it across now. We've given up on it, it curves too much, so we've just put silage tape on these corners now and then hopefully we can finish them off like that and it'll come off easy so we've got that to do then the fiddly bit where the number plates around jumps in and out we were going to put the class reg on off uh, Trevor's car but he needs his car and there's a lot of messing about so I don't want to just put my reg on it to be honest because it it was quite trick with all the writing all over it, but then the reg just spoils it. Yes, <laughs> we're just at Craig's now, we're gonna do a, a podcast, but look at the lights and the cameras. I know we've got three cameras set up today for Ollie on our blog, <laughs> one in the center on both of us, two either side, one shooting him, one shooting me, and uh, the team in ready to record it. But we're gonna go live or what? Oh, we can do, yeah. I'll, I'll set a tripod up and go live. Just leaving Craig's now, so he's doing these podcasts and video cast things. And we were going to do it one evening, but we couldn't find an evening that we could both do before the combine run. And he wanted to film it before that so that he can give us a bit of promotion for the combine run. The more promotion we got, the better. The more people that know it's happening, the more support we get. And obviously, we can also raise more money, but it's really it's all about getting people talking. So, anyway, I think what time is it? I don't know. I've been here since half 10 it's now like half one so we've been chatting for quite a bit we did some of it live as well so you can go and see that actually on my youtube channel and then you can see more of it on craig's instagram i think part two is on craig's instagram part one's on my youtube live anyway backing out of his drive so i'm going ooh, ooh, ooh. let's have a look oh, i'll wait till you've dug it out <laughs> look fencing guy's got a puncher in his car i've got these little things so i'm gonna put one in see if it gets him home um, it's like a screw with rubber on and glue to uh, stop the air rushing out. It's like a temporary fix because his spur's not with him. That, that was in a tyre, so we just took it out and then put one of these in, which is looks like that. So it's a little screw with thread on that you put in the place. It's got glue on it. So it seems to be sealed now. Just checking there's no more. Car's pretty much all done now. Looks great from a distance, probably not so, so close up, but it doesn't matter. It's only temporary, isn't it? Put some little bits on here as well. So Ben from UTV is here now. We get the roof bars on the car and he's got the, the signs here ready to go on. We've run out of girders, uh, so we're gonna weld these two together. Slightly puzzled why Rich is still wearing a woolly hat like that. Keep his head warm. Yeah, well, we're welding two bits of channel together to make a, a wider for a concrete wall. He's shut in by the dryer, which I'll show you in a bit. Just notice the little courtesy lights inside the cupboards. It's cool, like you put like gin bottles in it or something. <laughs> Just folding the auger out for Ben to put the rest of the lights on. We can't keep her away. Back again. Janine is back from Certas Energy because I was joking yesterday saying about a 10% discount. Well, what they will do is. A code for any new customer, £20 off HVO, gas oil and diesel using code OLLIE23. So is that, if they order three different fuels, will they get 20 quid off each one? So that's no, 60 quid? No, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Anyway, her phone number's here, hopefully now. I'll put it there and then um, give her a ring and quote that. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. We're just putting these on because you see it didn't clean the roof very much and it wouldn't quite fit, but luckily it adjusts slightly. But when we went to lift that one on, it's like an inch too short, so there's obviously the front's longer than the back. Anyway, they're both on now, so got the bolts in ready. 
putting a sign on the top. Now we drop a bit inside. Oh, well, that'll the bar again. Something magnetic somehow. That is jammed in there, the torque bit. Got it. B. Just in a workshop now looking for the drill. Uh, I've just nearly chopped my finger off in the sign now because it's like hinges up and down. And I had my finger in <laughs> pen trying to fold it down. So it's throbbing a little bit. Um, can't find the drill, which is really annoying. Must be in here somewhere, but because it's, it's got to be on the floor because everything else is. There it is. They had it on a wire brush cleaning off the threads for going through the stud bar. So that wall's poured now. Rich is now on with another one round by the dryer that he's doing. I'll go and show you that in a minute. Sort this roof rack out. Just drilling the holes now. And then we've got these roof bars on now. The bolts there sticking up. I might get some nylocks actually. And I'll do that now so that we don't wiggle loose. Take it off and go and get one out of the rack. Now I think it's M6. So M6 should be M4, M3, M5, M6. Hopefully. M6 nylock, that'll do. So your nylock basically means it's got this blue plastic collar that grips the thread when it focuses and then that stops it vibrating loose because they could vibrate loose. Got some bigger washers as well. I do love that stand. Like you say, can't beat a big rack. Apologies now for me being out of breath in the next frame because that is so heavy. I'm going to take it over there to put the 936 ready for on the baler. Actually, it wasn't too bad, but I think I got it too low to get it in. Oh no, it's going. All right, we're going to put the string in the baler because it's not coming with any string in it. I messed up this time. Last time I bought a new baler, I was like, I want it full of string and I forgot to say with this one. So it was empty, but I did take some. I've got some left from last year. The spare one's out the other one. I think this folds down on this to make it a bit easier to string up. Yeah, it does, so that you can reach that dead easy now. Zoom, it comes out the reel, goes to that tensioner and goes to that tensioner. I feel like that should be there. So that that one goes through that and then that one goes through that. I'll have a look at the other side. Well, this one's set up the same as well. I will put it in and see what happens. Right, so we've got three balls of string in. Thread them through them. Tensioners there. Then through them. Then through them. Joe's soap with his pina colada. Uh, down through here. Through them holes there. And through them eyes. And then tie them off underneath. One's for these standard lights. So you just turn those on and off if you yeah. want them. And then there's a front connector. And then those two connectors in the middle. There yeah. for your front and rear flashing lights. So, what, what, do you want to fold it up so I can see what's going on? Hey. Can't miss that, can you? Proper job. That's all threaded through there, through there, through the lollipops, which are these. So if anything goes wrong, they drop on that bar, sets an alarm off in the cab, means the spring's broken. Through the needles, which are them big banana things, and tied up there. It was actually a nice job to do because there's no dust to fall on my head because it's new. Well, anyway, we're going to put it on the tractor now and try it. I'll open this because it was locked up, but it's got like a, it's got like a little, little FACOM toolbox. That's good, isn't it? Spanners, key ring with a guard opener on, clasp punches, the best things you can get. Throwing it already. <laughs> there you 
Men om det är det är ett sånt där. Don't know what that does. Must be when it's got a shimmel of hitch on. Don't know. Big spanner. First year bolts. What's this? Grease gun or another grease gun. It's got auto lube as well. Oh well, that's good. We're out with a baler now. We've set off, but it's not not at the first bale. Um, they said go and see how you get on because they were going to come and set us up. Just save them driving all the way here. But anyway, it's not not quite right. So Phil's like, leave it. I'll come to you and we'll set it up proper and just make sure everything's okay. So I don't want to damage anything. I also don't normally drive the baler. Rob normally drives the baler, but he's on holiday. So he might be back tomorrow though, we'll see. So yeah, we'll wait for Phil to come and just make sure everything's working tickety-boo, so that we don't damage anything. And I'm seeing this lens there, so you can see me better. I didn't have the pickup reel all the way down, and it's a little bit flat, because it was rode up yesterday. Anyway, Andrew's just gonna quickly whiz around with a rake and just, just fluff it up a little bit more. Pull it a bit more away from the hedge as well. Birthday bumper from the hayfield. So we've got an anonymous who's 16 today. So I don't know who did that, but it's, we don't know your name. Colin Aspinall's on there. Andrew Radley, Gemma Ward's 44. Damon Wyatt's 42. John Riddow is 42 as well. Russell Murdoch's on there, he's 40. Max Baldini, double figures, 10. Amy Smethurst is 42. Everyone's 42 today. Three people, 42 today, I don't know if that's ever happened before. And Kieran Cooper's 15, so happy birthday, everyone on there and anyone else whose birthday it might be today. And there's a big hand over the £35,590 we've raised for the North West Air Ambulance. If you want to be on the birthday bumper, click the link below every single video for the last year. Uh, all right, Joe. All right, Joe. <laughs> I'll also put the discount code on as well today for Serials event and the Combine Run map. Please don't ask me what times we'll be at places we don't know until we've done the first day and set the pace. But don't forget, download the Class Telematics app. Use the password Words Ollie and use the uh, your password is Words Ollie. Sorry, the login's Words Ollie and the password is password. Everything is all lowercase with no exclamation marks. We're going up the road to bail Nick's hay afterwards, so he's waiting for us to go. So while we're waiting for Class to come and make sure everything's set up properly, Nick's gone the chippy for us, which is good. But it looks stunning, doesn't it? It's shiny. So, um, to be honest, I'll probably end the video now. You'll see more of this perhaps tomorrow. Or maybe we'll do a live later on when we get going. But, um, while I'm waiting for class to come out, so it'll probably be 20 minutes. I can edit what you've just watched. And then you can see more tomorrow. And then the video's not too late because it was really late last night because we were putting them stickers on till late. So, thanks for watching today. If you've made it this far, click like. Also, lots of talk today with, with uh, Craig about answers of percent. So, how are you feeling today? I'm 95%, it's a stunning day, playing with the new baler, looks a beast on the tractor, so let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Also as well, if you get a chance, go and check out the live that I did this morning with Craig, because a lot of it I was asking him stuff, it's like about when he was on Big Brother and things like that, so it was quite interesting. It's about 45 minutes long, so you might not be able to watch it all, and also Craig's going to have a full video, because we were there, I was there for about two hours, but that'll be coming out soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you tomorrow.